Can I see something? Huh? Huh? Astounding. You're even blushing through the mask. <clears throat> wow, it's not coming off you either. It's like I'm pulling your actual face. Because the mask clings to my face unless I grab it from the neck hole. The bodysuit skin feels really eerily real too. Well, yeah, it'd be bad if it didn't. Miranda made sure to make every aspect of the bodysuit identical to that of a real woman. Oh? I don't even need to put any effort in changing how my voice sounds as the mask does it for me. Not only that, but I can also feel... What? What the hell? Damn, I felt my share of... And this feels completely legit. I was thinking it'd feel more like implants. This Miranda went all out. Um, could you? Oh, wait, are you really feeling this? E yeah. Whoops, sorry about that. It's okay. What I was gonna say earlier was that the bodysuit is connected to me in a way so that I'd feel everything as if it were my real body. Oh, yeah? Have you tried having or using a- Can we please change the subject? Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I'm just fascinated by it. By me being able to become a girl? Not that. I meant I'm fascinated by the idea of a full body disguise that blows modern special effects makeup out of the water. I've got a few friends in that field that enjoy creating super elaborate SFX costumes. They do things like turn people into monsters for horror films and such, and I've helped model for them in the past. Oh, yeah? One time, they had me don the super elaborate monster getup that took like six hours to put on and two to take off. Suffice to say, it was a pain in the ass. Really? That sounds awesome! Anyway, no matter how amazing of a job they did, when you got up close or started poking around, it becomes obvious it's someone in a costume. Yet you slip that mask on mid-conversation with little issue, there's nothing to suggest you're wearing one. No deformities or anything, it's crazy. I hope Miranda's research pans out, I really do. Let her know I'm rooting for her despite your efforts to get it exposed. Thanks, I guess. You know, you're alright, Angela. Huh? I didn't know you were this fun to chat with, what with how intimidating you are. What's that supposed to mean? It's just... well, your face always looks so... What about my face? It's nothing, sorry! Relax, I get it. I have a resting bitch face. Not like I haven't known my whole life. Ever since I was little, I've been told I look pissed off. Hell, other kids didn't like to get near me because they thought I was mad. Come on, Cindy, why don't you go play with Angie? I don't wanna! She's always angry! Ooh, that's depressing. Sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm over it now. Sure, it sucked as a kid, but all kids are assholes anyway. And hell, by the time I hit my teens, they all thought I was cool because of it. I learned to stop caring what they think and only worry about how I felt. And it's not like I'm incapable of smiling like a normal person. I just need a copious amount of alcohol to loosen my face up. Elaine, Elaine, let's run to Vegas. Just, just the two of us. Jeez, you overdid it again. I'm taking you home. Otherwise, it takes a huge amount of effort and strains my face. Perfect, Angela. Now hold it. Mm -mm. That's a relief. Always thought you didn't like me or something. Don't get me wrong. I don't like you. I see. So, how come? Because you're a boring, lame nerd. Huh, <laughs> figures. I've got to guess that myself. But now I don't like you at all that much because you were actively deceiving Elaine all this time. Despite being her best friend. I get people have interests inside of them they aren't open to letting friends and family find out. That's fine. What I don't like is that you created this entire false persona and kept it up all this time. I thought we agreed why I couldn't tell her, right? I understand that you put a lot of effort into hiding this from her. But at any point, did you think about using some of that effort to figure a way to ease her into learning the truth? I, uh, well... That's exactly my point. You have zero problem with constantly lying to her face with no interest in trying to tell the truth. That's what gets on my nerves. Friends are supposed to be able to trust one another. Yet you betrayed her trust. Twice if we want to count Doris as a separate individual. For all I know, you could be hiding a mountain of even more lies from Elaine and me. I'm not! Ugh, put yourself in my shoes for a moment. You just discovered your friend's friend has been lying for months, pretending to be someone else. After you learn their true identity, they claim to not be hiding anything else. Would you take them for their word without question? Yeah, you're right. I haven't done anything to earn your trust. If you want to believe that I'm hiding more from her, then fine. Whatever. But I want you to know that I truly care for Elaine. She's my best friend. And what kind of a friend would I be if I didn't consider her feelings? 
I value our friendship more than anything and wouldn't want anything to change that. <sighs> Are you really that dense? What? I knew you were stupid, but come on. How could you go all this time without realizing that Elaine... Hmm, actually forget it. What? No, you can't just lead into something and then abruptly cut yourself off like that. Forget it. Okay. You know what? Let's change the deal. Change it? While Elaine's studying in New York, I'll help whip you into shape. But I don't think I'm out of shape. I meant your character. But now that you mention it, having a regular exercise regimen would do wonders for your mind as well as body. You see, Kevin, right now, if you were to ask me to describe you, I'd say you're an irresponsible, immature, and brainless idiot. Y yeah I can't really argue against that, though it hurts when you say it out loud. Ugh, but even with your faults, I think you're good-natured and compassionate, and those faults aren't impossible to turn around either. That is, if you're willing to let me help you. Well, Angela, I'm grateful for your willingness to help me, but I must warn you about what it is you're getting into. For you see, I am a numbskull who baffles scientists with its idiocy. The like's not seen in the world since 2002. Many a teachers have tried and failed to try and make me less of a brainless idiot, but... Kevin! Angela, you in there? Okay, deal! Hide me! Somehow, I'm already regretting the offer. Did I miss them on the way up? Oh, you're here after all. Yep, just finished getting changed. Can I take it you're feeling better? Yeah, all I needed was a few hours of rest and a trip to the toilet, and I'm good as new. One of these days, your body's gonna shut down on you if you keep abusing it like that. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mom. Mm -mm. For real? I worry that you're gonna wind up in a hospital one of these days. If that happens, you can cosplay as a nurse and treat me. But what if it happens while I'm in New York? I'll just have the ambulance drive me to a hospital near you. An ambulance ride from Texas to New York? I can't even begin to imagine how much that cost. It'll be worth it. I'd prefer if you cut back on the alcohol instead. Your liver will thank me. Could I still see you in a nurse outfit? Hmm... Could you stay sober until I finish school? Easy peasy. <laughs> Fine, but even if I catch you having even one sip, I'm gonna force you to watch all of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Kevin said he was coming up here to get clean and checked up on you. Did he go back to the con? He went out to get us pizza. He did? But we hadn't decided where to eat. Sorry, it was my suggestion. Oh, okay. Where from? This hole-in-the-wall place I had a while back that's super good. They use the seasoning on the crust that's killer. Oh, yeah? I told him to pick up three larges of their specialty pizzas. Hope you don't mind. That's fine. How much do I owe? Don't worry about it. Kevin offered to pay for it all. Really? What? Yeah. Said it was his treat. He doesn't have to do that. That's what I told him, but he was so insistent on paying for it as thanks for all the stuff you'd done for him. Wow, that was thoughtful of him. Rest in peace, my dealer's room funds. The place can get pretty busy on Friday night, so it might be a while before he gets here. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna take a bath and relax for a bit. Okay. Uh, whoa! There. I bought you some time. Text me when you get the bodysuit off and I'll put in order for the pizza. I'll have it delivered to the front lobby, so don't worry about going anywhere. Now hold on a second! Do you really expect me to pay for all that pizza? We're splitting it 50-50. Put it on my card and you can pay me back later. Come on. I hope Miranda didn't get lost on the way here. I don't know how long I'll be able to use that pizza excuse before Elaine becomes suspicious. Doris! Oh, thank... Fuck! Hey, Owen! Fancy seeing you here. Uh, how come you're with Miranda? Owen came by the apartment after I got off the phone with you when he gave me a lift. Uh-oh, that's cool. So, um, like, I guess you might be wondering why I'm walking around barefoot right now. Yeah. It's because, uh, it's, um... It's cosplay! Yeah! An anime convention's going on right now, and I'm cosplaying as a character who likes to walk around barefoot! It's from the Slice of Life series about high school girls who are in a barefooters club. They walk around all barefoot-like and, uh... Okay, okay, you can shut up now. Owen already knows that you... But you forgot your wallet! Uh. Miranda told me on the way here. Apparently you saw some toy or something, but you had accidentally left your wallet back at the apartment. Wanted her to bring it, right? Huh? Huh? Uh, that's right! That must have sucked. Yep, for a hot minute I thought I'd lost it. But silly me just left it on my dresser. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. What are you? By the way, Miranda, there's something I want to show you. Girls only, Owen. Sorry! Be back in a bit! That's cool. Take as long as you need. I'll just wait out here, I guess. That was some good thinking on your part, Miranda, that whole wallet story. Yeah, well, you know, what's the status with Angela? Did you go back to the room like I said? 
Yeah, the two of us talked for a bit and she promised not to go babbling about it. We should be good. Despite your assurance, I'm not entirely convinced. I'll have a chat with her later when I have time. Just as I feared, you short-circuited the zipper. Am I going to be stuck inside this? Lucky for you, I have a failsafe installed after having experienced a zipper malfunction in the past. It's not gonna hurt, is it? Nah, but I can't guarantee it'll be very pleasurable either. Disconnect in three, two... Wait a sec, can you give me more time to prepare myself? Mm Whoa! I felt like it was one of those water snake toys just now. While I appreciate the data, I don't appreciate the mental image. Huzzah! I've transferred back into my male self! What a heck of a ride this past hour has been. But now all the drama's finally over. Yep. What should I do with my bra? Just carry it in your hand back to your room. I gotta wait in the lobby for Angela to order pizza. I'll look like a weird if I hold it the whole time. Fine, if you're gonna whine about it, give it to me. Thanks. By the way, how do you plan on getting the bodysuit out of here anyway? Under my blouse? Okay. I know I'm not the smartest guy around, but even I have doubts about this plan. How are you going to explain to Owen you're suddenly pregnant with a lumpy space alien? Don't you worry about Owen. I've got it handled. It's fine! You sure? I was thinking it could help distract him and then you could run to his car. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That was quick. Did you manage to... You really just walked out of there hiding it underneath your shirt? It's not like I had anywhere else to hide it. You know, I have a duffel bag back in my car that you could have... And where was this information 15 minutes ago when it would have been helpful instead of being used to blast my short-sightedness? It's, uh, yeah. I guess it's pretty pointless saying it now. Ugh, there goes my whole weekend. How's the damage? Not good, but nothing I can't fix, thankfully. I might as well do some maintenance and look for any other signs of wear and tear while I'm at it. Can you drop me off back at my place? The apartment? No, my house. All of my equipment is there. I can't fit even a quarter of it in that apartment. You ever find it weird that a guy's running around looking exactly like you? I'd be worried about someone pretending to be me while doing nefarious stuff. It gives a new meaning to stolen identity. Kevin's the last person I expect to do anything like that. He's dumb, but he's not a bad guy. Hell, you've hung out with him longer than I have, you should know that. Besides, if not for him, I wouldn't have been able to resume my work. He may test my patience, but I'd rather he have the bodysuit than some sleazeball. Speaking of Kevin... What was that earlier? What? You pretended you were oblivious to his secret back there. What's the point in letting him keep the charade going? It's because... It's because Doris didn't tell me herself. Oh? It's as you said, Doris isn't being distrustful about it, so I don't see a reason to force it out of her. Things are fine the way they are now. So you're fine with continuing to pretend to not know? If Doris wants to open up with me, I want it to be on her terms when she feels ready. Not force it out of her. If she never does, then hey, that's cool with me too. Hmm, 